Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube. So we are about to go into the thrift store today. Um, follow me along. I see Ross. Everything a dollar. That's a jockey. That's a jockey top. It's a really nice okay. it's top. Clothes, cheese, purses, linen, luggage, frames, and toys. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Tall, medium, D. All oh, these look like they're too big for me. Let's go keep looking. Since I am trying to grow my Instagram and grow my uh, social media influence, um, a easy, easy way for you to put like outfits together, not spend a whole lot of money, which I do model my own clothes. Um, but sometimes you just want like some extra pieces um, that make stuff just look a little bit different. So of course i am definitely a thrifter and i do like like these little blazers right here but that's a medium but i'm gonna keep looking today is definitely dollar day so um we're gonna look and see what we can find for the winter and to like use as a cover-up my daughter's looking at it already and she like it it's one dollar so we got this this dress here I'm going to pair this up with a nice pair of sandals. It's a 10 petite, 100% linen, but I definitely can wear this. So y'all gonna definitely like the haul on it. These are dollar days. And then I got that denim jacket. But look what I found for 50 cents. I'm gonna take this with me. It's in perfect condition. It actually matches my dress. So I get a lot of bags too from the thrift store. Um, so definitely gonna be taking this with me. This. Oh, I love these kind of, this material for night. And in the morning when I get off, I put it on. And it's got a zipper on it. So it's dollar day. So definitely going to be taking this with us. Yeah. Okay, to, you're uh, going to be fat So we okay. have finished in the, in the thrift store. We got some really, really nice pieces. I pretty much got me an outfit as far as a dress. And um, I got... Um, a little bag to go with it so i cannot wait to put all this together um i'm gonna put the dress in the dry cleaners as and i'm going to also put the jacket in the dry cleaners also on monday um i cannot wait to rock it um everything fits perfect i already put it up against me so yeah i can't wait to um, rock this so i definitely used to be a thrifter um i've seen a lot of things in there that i can use in my for my boutique as far as the background because i'm gonna be building a background soon for my pictures but i'm not sure exactly what i really want yet i know it's gonna be something purple and something unique so um it's a few more thrift stores around here so i would definitely be checking out checking so out. um also today um i went and took some pictures for my instagram i finally finally got the opportunity to sit down and figure out exactly how i wanted my feed to look it's actually like a theme pattern that i came up with after doing a little research on youtube um going to pinterest looking at how other people do their feed and also asking myself how i want my feed to look like i don't want like just standing pictures like i have an actual brick and mortar boutique so i actually want uh, where it looks like a boutique on the feed i want my store to come live to my instagram feed so um i'm in the wrong lane so by doing so um i have come up with this theme and i actually have to look back at my notes to see what i need to post next and so once i post like 10 or 11 posts it's going to really really play out 
really really nice so um i also start working on my personal instagram um and i like how it looks too um as you build a business you kind of figure out how not to be all over the place you finally like get your little niche or whatever you call it and you figure out hey this is how i want my stuff to look i'm comfortable with this um so when you start now you're trying to kind of find your way so um a lot of things i'm i'm finding my i have found my way and i'm happy with it so right now um, of course, I worked last night, but right now I am headed to another store because my daughter is graduating Monday and I have to get her some shoes. So I'm headed to another store. We're going to get some shoes. We're going to stop by the grocery store and then we're going to chill for tonight. It has been a very, very long week for me. Um, the sales this week, they were okay. Um, last week we did very, very well, but they was okay. This is an up and down journey. Um, and I like I tell people before, even when you don't get a lot of sales in one day, you definitely need to keep, don't get discouraged, just keep pushing your business because like the dress I have on today, this is from my boutique. I just keep pushing. A lot of people say, oh, well, that's not my style. Oh, that's not with another color, this and that. But you also have to realize that it's so many variety of people around and different people like different things. So I used, like I was telling my mom last night, I get in the head of the, of, like she'll get in the head, like people said they wanted these kind of shorts. And this and, So we would just try to jump up and go buy stuff. But no, no, we have to take our time and do this right because the business has bills. And I'm trying, I'm going to be building a debt-free business. So with that being said, um, I pay cash now for everything that I do. Uh, I have pretty much built my business credit up. I got a perfect business credit and I've got trade lines. If you don't know what trade line is, it's um, kind of like on your regular credit where you have hits, like you lane and stuff like that. I have built trade line accounts already on my uh, business credit. So they, they're pretty good. Um, but uh, I just don't have to charge anything no more. Or, um, Credit accounts are good if you need them. If I need them, I always have them, but I just choose to pay cash because by paying cash for everything that I do, it's no overhead. Like I don't really owe anybody anything, no explanation. Um, if I get my money today, um, I put my money in my pocket. I ain't gotta worry about trying to pay out people for nothing. So that's how I lived my life a couple years ago before my business and that's how I'm gonna um, pick up living my life. Um, I'm very, very excited today also because yesterday I paid, um, or earlier in the week, I went ahead and paid off my chase. And when I went to the app today, it said zero. It was $11,000 on that app that I owed back in March. So a lot of people would say, how you do it? You're going to have to go back and look at my other video, YouTube, my other YouTube videos, how I did it. Pretty much, I just didn't really buy a lot of stuff. I just wrote down how much I was going to pay on it and I stuck I stuck to it. I didn't change up. I didn't say, oh, I'm going to see what I can pay and this and that. I didn't do none of that. I got to it. I stuck to it and it worked and it is finished. Now, um, my next step in building this wealth thing is um, I got about four more things that I wrote down for, for, for June 5th um, that I'm going to go ahead and take care of. And then uh, in July, I am ready to do whatever I want to do. Go on vacation, cash free, build money, save money. Um, definitely uh, going to be uh, continuing to invest in my investment accounts, in my cryptocurrency, and buy some shares into a few companies. So yes, um, you just have to continue to follow my journey and thank y'all for watching.